So the last video we covered the main street of Malahide from the church down as far as the diamond. I'm thinking on the far side of the street we will cover today, Killeen Terrace down to the diamond. Now the Killeen Terrace is opposite the church. So if we look from there down, the first little shop we see nowadays is Sean Rattay. Now Sean Rattay in the 50s was actually Morris Mann's shop. Morris Mann used to sell newspapers there. And of course, it was very convenient because Sunday particularly, people would buy their papers directly after Mass. Now, I believe that was his, actually his second shop. I thought it was his first shop. But recently somebody told me, no, he had a shop down New Street, a very small shop down New Street first. Then he moved there. And of course, we all know that later he moved down the other side of the diamond to where Axa Insurance is now. And then after that, he moved into the last shop, which is the big one that he redeveloped on the diamond itself. Of course, he was a very hard worker and he built up his business from scratch, really, up to quite a fine shop in the diamond later on. If we go further along the street, the second shop that I remember was Nugent's the Butchers. Now, Nugent's were a family, um, no relation of ours. We used to call them Nugent's the Hill because they lived up the hill. And they had butchers, and they had a lot of land where they kept cattle as well. There was two butchers in Malahide at the time. Nugent was one, and Howard's well-known, of course, with the others down in New Street. Nugent's butchers used to have a slaughterhouse, as far as I recall, behind this shop. They would be maybe driving the cattle down and into the slaughterhouse from the hill area. I think that's where some of their land was. And as far as I know, they were there up to the 70s, perhaps. They certainly seemed to be there a long time. The family, of course, are still... Many of them are still around today. Now, the next shop was a very interesting one. It was a chemist shop, Bassett's Chemist. It's a beautiful, I, it's only when I think back, it's a terrible pity it was never preserved nearly as a museum because when you went into this shop, they had beautiful shelving with all the old jars of chemicals on them and old drawers with titles of the chemicals all on them. It would be a beautiful thing to preserve. So Mr. Bassett was there, and his daughter then took over after, I don't know whether he died or moved on, but his daughter then ran it for many years until she retired. Now, interesting thing was, on the sign for Bassett's shop, they had his name, I think, B. Bassett, and they also had LPSI, you see. I'm not sure. PSI was for Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland. I don't know what L was a certain membership. But as kids, we used to be laughing, and we'd say, oh... Um, there was MPSI on some chemists and LPSI on others. And we used to say MPSI was for monkey's piss sold inside. And LPSI, then we had to make up another one. So we said, oh, that must be leopard's piss sold inside. So that's a show that we were really in those days. But a, a beautiful shop and very, very nice people. The only other shop of note at the time was Mrs. McNamee's. Now, Mrs. McNamee's a very small shop. Down, as far as I can recall, up where the flower shop is today. Mrs. McNamee was a lady who was um, always very prim and proper. And she sold groceries and ice cream and chocolates and things like that. But I, do, I don't know why it sticks in my mind. I remember being in the shop one time and Anse McGuigan came in. Now, Anse was Anthony, of course, Anthony McGuigan. But he was known as Anse McGuigan. And Anse used to stand at the finger post, in other words, at the, the diamond, where these road signs were. And he'd stand there all day and he'd be looking around, up and down, up and down, and stay there all day, just looking around him. But he was a, a bit of a character. But I remember being in the shop one day and Anne came in and he said, oh, can I have me Robin, please? I didn't know what he was talking about. But it turned out Robin was a small sliced pan he used to buy every day or every second day or something. I always remember him when I think of Mrs. McNamee's shop. The funny how little things stick in your mind. <laughs> Beautiful little shop. Now, that's only four shops that I recall at the time. Now, of course, since then, there has been numerous shops. It's one of the most changed areas around Malahide. Restaurants upstairs, Paddy Powers, we have solicitors, we have an optician, flower shop, hairdressers, of course, um, a stationery shop. There's now a toy shop. And there was a photographer's for years. Sean Callan had a photography there. That was there for a very long time. Some of them have come and gone a few times and changed. But I, I'm trying to think back of what I remember in the 50s in that street. And that's all I have to say for today.